So what you see on the screen here is the final result and this is like 95% Sora and then a tiny little bit of photo editing but we'll get to that in a minute. So back to Sora, this is the first image I created with this idea in mind and you can see the prompt I had below for it there. So this was just a strange idea that popped into my head, I didn't have any reference for this one or any inspiration, it just kind of, it just kind of came to me and I just thought it would be quite funny, a bit bizarre. So it generated as default by like a with like an illustrative cartoon style there, which is not what I wanted really, but it showed that the concept would at least work. So what I did then was to take the um, exactly the same prompt and I just put the word hyperreal at the end, which always is a pretty reliable way to turn anything or to guarantee it being you know photographic even if the elements like this are slightly strange like floating piranha so it's done a pretty good job of translating that into this kind of format um i always try and sort of iterate on it though and see what else we could do to the image i, I never just like do one image generation round and go oh that's it i like to sort of see what else you can add so i thought i know i'll put like he bites on the t-shirt and an arrow point into the piranha or that was what's supposed to happen so my prompt is is now has got the man's t-shirt has text saying he bites and an arrow pointing towards the piranha added into it now i ran a few of these not you won't see them now because they're all from the same batch but um the arrow never pointed towards the piranha it always points to the side and then i thought you know what who cares about the arrow just he bites it's like it's still it's still funny it still carries a sort of message so the next one, I thought, I'm going to turn this into a landscape shot now because I want to get another element in. And what I thought would be quite good here is to have the miserable guy with his pet piranha and an old lady coming up, like, tickling the chin of the piranha. And this was one of the first ones that ran the first variations, and I actually really, really like this. It's um, I like it as equally um, as the last, as the, the version I picked for the thumbnail. But So, again, all we've done here is I've changed the... Um, yeah, this isn't a remix, this is just doing the doing the prompt from scratch and just adding um, a smiling old lady has stopped and is tickling the piranha's chin and then obviously I've changed the aspect ratio to 3 by 2 to give it room for that to happen now what I really liked about this one is the piranha's got this like orange sort of tinted belly which gets a bit more colour into it but what I don't really like is how the collar and the leash for the piranha is kind of just it's round its tail it looks like there which kind of makes sense and it's sort of round its neck and it just stops there, which is a bit strange. And also it's just looking a little bit too clean and crunchy. So the next thing I did was to change the was to change the prompt and add on the end slightly blurry, slightly grainy photo. Um, which has added this subtle subtle grain and some blur, and but it's it's sort of added a bit of a colour tint as well, like a um, an extra colour cast, which I don't really want. Now I use slightly grainy, slightly blurry because if you use things like grungy old photo and stuff like that, people use it just way too heavy on the grain. But um, just if you just give it, ask it to do subtle or slight grain, it gives it more of a chance. So I'll run this again, but then I put white balanced photo at the end, which um, just gave me the same thing, but it just reduced some of that faded color cast effect that was put on now this is almost the final image so i saw this and i was really happy with this because i also added sorry i forgot to mention i also added um about a chain the piranha's leash has a chain around the fish because on one of the premium on one of the previous um what was it on one of the previous renders it had a chain and I just I saw that on I thought even though this image wasn't right I thought yeah that makes sense having like a chain around the piranha it kind of seems a bit more in character so for this last one I specifically asked for the chain and I think that works really well now the only thing that I didn't like about this image compared to us I love all the expressions and everything was that I kind of I liked that slight orange hue that the piranha had on its belly in some of the other images I thought it helped it, it helped it pop off the background and just look nice now I tried to sort of in-paint this and remix it and add a belly bit it always changed the expressions just enough for it not to look as good so in the end i took it into um photo p which is a free photoshop alternative and just sort of added that in myself so i'll hop over to that quickly now and just show you how i did that okay so here i am in photo p and you can do this for yourself if you go to photo p.com that's photo p e a.com you can just use this for free. You don't need to log in or create an account or anything. So I've opened this up and all I've done here is I've just made a rough mask 
with the pen tool around the shape of the fish, cutting out the, um, making sure that I miss the um, old woman's finger so I'm not colouring those. And then inside that folder, I just used a simple um, colour balance tool just to shift some of the tone towards this kind of orangey pinky colour. And then with that, I just used a soft brush and you can see it pretty sloppily there, but it doesn't matter because it's kind of an organic thing. I used a soft brush to um, just kind of make the transition a little bit softer because without it, it looked like that. So I then just got a soft brush with a layer mask and just painted away using black as my foreground color that, um, that area until it was that nice ready pink color. 